What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I have further information from the Dark Below Expansion 1 DLC which comes to us all, to all us Guardians in December. Now in this video you're going to see new armors, weapons, the multiplayer maps, everything that comes with the Dark Below. But before we get into the video, can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Daily Destiny content, make sure you subscribe. And if you could help me out with a like, I do appreciate the support. But let's just get into it. Now, all of this information has just basically been released by Bungie. It's on their website and I will link it at the top of that video description if you guys would like to check it out for yourselves. But getting into the video, we're just going to scroll down. And here we can see, beneath the surface of the moon, a long forgotten enemy wakes, survive the Hellmouth and stop a dark army from invading Earth. Expand your adventure with a wealth of new weapons, armor and gear, complete new story quests and missions. Take your fire team into a new cooperative strike and raid. Put your competitive skills to the test in three new competitive multiplayer arenas. Then we have Burn back the shadows. A new tower character, Eris, has come forth bearing a ominous warning. The hive seek to summon a god, Crota, to destroy the earth. Find her in the tower to complete her quests and three new story missions. Face what waits in the dark below. Coming down a little more, we have a load of new weapons and armor. Now, some of these look absolutely insane. I originally thought this one here in the top right hand corner was the Necrochasm, but I believe it isn't. I believe the one third from your right on the bottom row is the Necrochasm. This one looks like a sort of fusion rifle version of Necrochasm. Then you can see the Dragon's Breath, three from your left top row. Uh, three from your left on the bottom row is the Devil's Juice Shotgun. And we have plenty of other weapons, armors, vehicles, and so forth. This Hunter Helm here looks absolutely insane. And me being a hunter, I'm so pumped for this. I have actually a high-res image of this, and I'll show you guys on screen now. Just look at that. Absolutely badass. In the center of the screen, it says level up, claim new rewards. New weapons, armor, and gear to boost your garden to light level 32. New exotics, five additional bounty slots. Not all gear shown. So basically, we can level up to light level 32, which would be epic. I still ain't even hit level 30 yet, so it's going to be a challenge for me to get to level 30 before I can get to level 32. But yeah, still pumped for all of this badass shit. I'm just going to scroll down and furthermore, new competitive crucible arenas, we have Pantheon. Deep within the endless channels of the Black Garden on Mars, an ancient temple has been recently claimed by the Crucible. Master the ins and outs of ancient Vex architecture, work as a team to lock down three primary lanes. All work alone to control the flow of combat and guarantee your victory. Moving down, we have another Crucible map called Skyshock. This recently repowered interplanetary defense array on Earth bears the scars of our endless battle with the Hive. Master multiple engagement distances on foot and in vehicles. Balance the risk and reward of multiple routes. Claim powerful vehicles to clear a path and deny the enemy control of the battlefield. Crush your opponent. I'm guessing as well you're going to have vehicles, obviously it says claim vehicles there. I'm guessing as you can see by the pictures on your left and right, you're going to have pikes and the crabs, what I call them. So yeah, badass. Moving down, we have the cauldron, an abandoned hive ritual site thought to be the site of dark sacrifice. The cauldron has now been claimed by the crucible where brave guardians now wage war. The central chamber is a choke point for intense close range combat. Watch for the signs of closing opposition. Keep your head on a swivel and show no mercy. Insane, can't wait. A new cooperative strike called the Will of Crota. Omnigal, the Via Will of Crota. Grow the hive hordes to prepare the earth for Crota's reign. Enter the Jovian complex with a fire team of guardians. Burn Omnigal out of her nest with your life. Destroy her and purge her vile spawn from the earth. Sounds so insane, I just can't wait. And then we have the new raid, and this is called Crota's End. New six player cooperative raid. He waits in the dark below, and as we scroll down, we see Crota. Absolutely badass, highlighted by all his minions' eyes in the background. Just cannot wait for this. So, Pomfrey is unbelievable. But, guys, that is all the information 
we have on the actual Dark Below DLC at the moment. Any more information that comes through, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. But guys, what do you think about all of this? Will you be buying the Dark Below DLC? Let me know down below. Guys, don't forget if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Daily Destiny content, make sure you subscribe. And if you could help me out with a like, I do appreciate the support. But thanks as always for watching and peace out till next time. Peace.